Hello everybody, welcome to the first round match between Crystal Hunter and Yasmir. Yasmir won the toss and chose to receive with Orcs and Crystal Hunter with Humans. Both coaches have a 63% win rate in Champs Ladder. Um, Yasmir qualified from BB Lands, uh, the, the one qualifier from that, and Crystal Hunter was one of the four uh, qualifiers from CCL Season 14 on PC. So, I actually predicted Yasmir to win this one, and uh, it was one of the few times I went against humans. I, I know Crystal Hunter likes to play very aggressive with humans, uh, well, he's normally a Skaven coach, but um, I played a practice match with him, and he did actually, he beat my Orcs with his, with his human team. Um, he does go very... Very aggressive, you know, basing wise. He did well. He, he does with Skaven, and he did in the one game that I've seen him play with humans. Uh, and I just thought, you know, that could get punished by by orcs. I quite like the orcs team build for this matchup, having the uh, troll to fight the ogre, couple of guard, tackle mighty blow, tackle not as relevant with only two dodge players. But you know, yeah, I just quite like the orc team. Um, an apothecary, but only eleven players. I also like Crystal Hunter's team, to be fair. Um, he has split the tackle and the mighty blow, which obviously kind of makes him weaker against Elves game one. But, uh, oh, oops. but um, it does give him kind of customizability. He can go for piling on on the mighty blow guy, or he can go for tackle on the mighty blow guy, and mighty blow on the other tackle guy. So. Or he could just go guard on them both. So I like the flexibility that it gives him. Um, of course, he pays for that flexibility by having guard on the ogre rather than not one of the blitzers in game one. Um, as ever, he's gone block on the ogre, which I knew people would like. I don't like it, but that's just a personal thing. Surprised he, he pushed him there rather than just away. I would have been happy with pushing him away. Is he gonna one dice him? Oh. Orc thrower, normally I'm dead against the Orc thrower, but yeah, you know, okay, it's a power, fair enough. Uh, I'm, not, I'm normally dead against the Orc thrower, but it's different in, you know, in progression. Wow. Um, in progression, is different to in res. Obviously in res, Wood Elves are a terror. And they have strip ball. Wow, turn one apple. Very aggressive apple. Now, turn one, well, turn nine is probably the best turn to use your apple on a KO. But turn one is probably like the second best turn, isn't it? You know, he is getting a lot of value out of this apple on this drive. And of course, that, that, that Apo has basically fully committed him to trying to stop this drive now. So he has to play a really hard defense to stop the stop the touchdown now. But, you know, I, I quite like the Apo. It's, it's, it does give him a lot of value. He might not take a card the rest of the game. That was a pretty greedy reroll there. He did have the extra one from the kickoff result. But, um, and, and it is the first half. Second half, I think that would have been a very poor reroll. Um, with the possibility of overtime, maybe. But, uh, you know, it's okay, isn't it? Mighty Blow hit versus Mighty Blow. He might have got lucky. And there you go, we've got the we've got the basing that he loves to do. Crystal Hunter. So, um, and not, he's used to doing it with Armor 7, so... <laughs> he's definitely going to go for it with Armor 8. It's it's risky, you know, it, it, but it's it's high risk, high reward, isn't it? You know, if you, you can completely blunt their attack if they're just having a... Two dice, all you guys down. Um, but on the other hand, they get to two dice, all of you guys down. <laughs> but you know, you're forcing your opponents to make rolls. They could one in nine with a non block guy, like they've exactly just done. Um, that was good timing, wasn't it? And you know, so he might sap his rerolls from this, and he might get an advantage with, with certain things. So. It's not terrible. It's not terrible to, to base like this aggressively. It, it's his style. 
it's not wrong, it's not my style, but you know, he qualified through Champs Ladder, he beat me in Champs Ladder in fact. Um, his skating does my breaths, so, and you know, on another day maybe I would have made a lot more cars than I did in that game, but it just is what it is, it's the way it goes isn't it, you know, it's not, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and Crystal Hunter does, you know, he's taken three stuns there, he has got a block back out of it. And orcs are pretty slow, so it's not like they can they can make a load of you know a huge advance this turn when we've got a few stuns. Mighty ball, and the mighty ball again. Is he gonna one dice? This is a pretty good opportunity for the Orcs to move up this side, isn't it? You don't want to go too, too close to the sideline, but pretty good opportunity for them, I think. Those, those, those three stones did open up a lot of space, but the mighty bow tackle can't reach the end. I think I might have made this three dice. If I could have done, of course. But uh, maybe this guy could have done one, two, three, four, five, six or something. Can I go through? And he doesn't have to push too far up here. Um, but he's going quite far up. I think maybe I think Adam maybe's tried to just go here. on the two down guys I think I would have I would have been tempted to have not not activated the troll for fear of bonehead uh, really stupid as it is but it's, it's alright to base up these guys isn't it? well it's good to base up the guys the problem is there's some guard there isn't there so you might get two deed the, tr the troll or one deed Facing the tackler, I like that. Well, I say that. <laughs> You're getting mighty blow hit, but to mighty blow hit him, he's got to take another guy out of the fight. And also, he doesn't get tackled with your catches, so this might be kind of good. Dodges out of the guard. To get another hit. So, you know, he. You can block there, block there. Yeah, you can block now with the orc. Block there. Now, this is quite tricky because normally you'd want to... Huge non-knockdown. Normally you'd want to blitz this guy. But you just literally can't. Because if you get a push, he's still in contact. So you've got a blitz with a ball carry. You'd normally want a blitz with a, bl with a blitzer, but a push is no good, so he has to blitz with a ball carry. And then horribly, horribly unlucky to get the one in 81. So so there, there Crystal Hunter's basing has paid off with a, with a 1 in 81 chance. And now, with only three turns left, it's looking very, very uh, tricky for the Orcs, isn't it? I mean, if they'd been here, they would have got based again. And, you know, he would have keep playing the basing game. Um, wow, uphill, uphill. I mean, it's fair enough. It's not that unlikely with block to get a desirable result to get into the into here. He could have even made another uphill block there to clear the tackles up. I wouldn't have even hated. I wouldn't have even hated just uphill blitzing here, you know, black or kill. Own head. Could have thought about not activating him. Or at least activating him after something else had happened. Good. Multiple. The the way that I would blitz the ball here would be this guard guy. Because he can come round and push, he'll get hit in with the uh, black hole. Also, um,
Yeah, powering him, you would go to here. I, I think you should have put him to there with a, with a power. Um, just to make it, you know, a bit safer. A bit less tackles on his foot. That was a horrible bounce for the Orcs. But, you know, he knocked him down here and the ball went there. He could have easily come here and he could have recovered with a guard. So I'm guessing that's why he didn't blitz with this with this blitzer. Because his plan was to recover with him. Uh, going for some more scatters, I think that's fair. Because if you leave it on the ground in this kind of area, the ha the humans are liable just to pick it up and run away with it. So yeah, I'm sure, I'm actually, now that I think about it, I'm sure that's why he didn't blitz with a guard. Because he wanted him to recover. Um... But I think I would have blitzed him for an additional chance for knockdown because he's really, you know, re he's really re-roll light now, isn't he? Only one re-roll. I think I would have just made sure of knocking him down. But regardless, he was really unlucky with a scatter. And yeah, I'm sure he wanted to recover the guard now, now that I think about it. It is harder when I've only got, you know, when I'm watching the things in real time that have taken three minutes to decide. It's not always easy to spot everything. Um, or their intentions. Wow, big uphill block there to get him for the old get a hit. And block on the old paying off massively. Another uphill block. <laughs> Crystal Hunter is, is living dangerously with all these uphill blocks. But I mean, you know, what else can he do? He can't not make them. So, you know, people say don't don't make risky moves and stuff, but it's not always the case. It's just what you have to to get the payoff. But all of his guys are in contact. Loads of two DBs, but a lot don't have block. And okay, that was that was a double skill anyway, but and what was it really relevant? Maybe he should have done something near the ball first. It feels like there's better moves the Orcs could have been making on this turn, but he gets his, his first removal after the Apo, and you know if he hadn't apo that that guard, maybe he would have taken more cars, and, or maybe he wouldn't have won the drive. I mean, this is looking like a one drive, isn't it, on the... Uh, Oh, I don't like that. He could have been in scoring range. I think I would have got someone in scoring range before rolling any dice, to be fair. Turn 7 for the Orcs. It's looking like Chris Lund has defended the drive, doesn't he? And won the drive, if you like, because the normal result would be an Orc touchdown, so stopping the score is a win. Wow. Huge. Huge dodge from the Orc thrower there. He's, so far, he's blocked. And one in eighty one and then he's 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 failed his dodge and cast himself. Good old good old orc throwers. But you know It's just the dice, isn't it? He's still good. And still did the right play at the blitz with, with him. Just just really unlucky. Re I mean really unlucky. E eighty times out of eighty one. The orc thrower has still been in the cage and although things may have happened differently, you know, that that was it. Huge dice roll, wasn't it? Maybe it would have been made it one now if he hadn't done that. So he does have this. Uh, this is actually not such a hard turn. Two dice this guy, so he's free. And then one or two dice this guy. I've not blitz him, yeah, blitz him. But he, uh, he double skulled. <laughs> but that, that was really pretty easy to uh, yeah blitz that guy. Block him and then pick it up hand off that if he'd had a re-roll for that turn, he'd have been alright. But I think I think overall the Orcs have been horribly unlucky this drive. When you think about it. One in eighty one there, loads of one in nines or one in thirty sixes. And yeah, maybe he could have saved his re-roll on, on one of them. Uh, one of the earlier ones. Because at the end of the day it's I guess early and late are the most critical turns because you know, if you want. I always like to have a reroll on turn eight or turn sixteen. And um, but then also, if you if you don't reroll early in a half, it could lead to loads of early pressure, which could also lead to a lost drive. So 
Yeah, overall though, very very unlucky has been yeah, for sure. Now we've got the, the Crystal Hunter drive. And obviously you can just if you can score here, it's probably gonna be a win. I mean if he scores at any time, it's gonna be unlikely for Hawks to get a two turn touchdown. Three turn is really stretching the limits of what Hawks walks or walks orcs are likely to make asymmetrical here right, he's fixed it I mean this this is a fine anti blitz um, on the line is better against blitz but worse against perfect defense so it's a bit of a trade-off, isn't it? You know, if you, if you put these two guys one forward, it's better versus Blitz. But it still does a job against Blitz. It's, it's not bad against Blitz, but one square forward would be much better against Blitz. But then we could versus perfect defense, and, you know. That, that's the thing, you can't have it all, can you? You can't make... The only way you can defend against everything is if you're Lizard Men, basically. Because they have so much strength, you barely have to commit to the LOS. But then, it, it, then it's the trade-off between diagonal LOS blocks and more hits. I don't like the way he's uh, he's assisted here, because it means guaranteed contact on, on a push. Which he gets. A better assist in my, in my mind would have been the lineman here. So if he pushes, he pushes him away, he gets the power and keep him based up. I mean, you know, much has been made of how strong humans are with the two extra skills, the, the normal and the double, but really, if you're an orc team or an undead team or a wood elf team, and you're playing in champ's ladder, and you get match 50 TV down, it's not the end of the world, is it? So... You know, our two skills down. So obviously, it's it's worse when the, most coaches in this World Cup are relatively evenly matched. And if if somebody has a slight advantage, it is only a slight advantage. You know, like for example, Ducky with his seventy percent, seventy-seven percent win rate. How much better is he than a seventy-one percent win rate coach? You know, or a seventy-two percent? Like even even if these were completely accurate, wow, another double skill. And again, maybe he could have, maybe he could have accepted that. Um, this goal. You know, he's got four rerolls, um, but because of the cheering fans. But really, realistically, maybe he could have saved that one, and maybe it'll be crucial. Maybe he'll have, maybe there'll be a crucial turn later where he doesn't have a reroll. I think maybe he didn't have to do that. On the other hand, maybe he did. Huge cars, huge regen roll. And he makes it. But still, that's a huge loss for the drive. Really swings towards Crystal Hunter's favour there with a removing the strength five um, roadblock, if you like. Getting quite close. A lot of people, a lot of people do this. A lot of people kind of cage really close to the LOS. Uh, I don't really like it. Um, but you know. It's not wrong, is it? It's just it's just can get a little bit uncomfortable, um, as as Yasmia found out in the first half. Wow, very greedy block there, wasn't it? Um, let's pause it for a second. Irrelevant block first. I'm not sure I like that, but yeah, this is a huge huge block here because the way these are screened off and everything. If he doesn't make the block. The black orc can block, but the other one can't get to the ball. Whereas by rolling the skull, and sure it's only one in six chance, and, and a, on a on a two plus, the orc would have been over here, up here. Well, in fact, pushing him isn't even that good, is it? Because <laughs> you could have maybe freed him up to get through there, block there and stuff. But yeah, that was that. Was, I think that was a mistake. I think Crystal Hunter will probably think that was a mistake, because that's the failure state is just too too much isn't it 
he just doesn't block. Sure, he gets the ball based. It's only where he could blitz with the other Blackhawk and then base the ball or something. But this just gives a hit on the ball, doesn't it? Which is not really what you want. <laughs> Unless he just rolls another double skull. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, it's not a dicing. It's not a dicing for the Orcs, but it's... Um, <laughs> It's pretty frustrating, isn't it? Wow. I guess he's going to be base with tackle. The problem is he might overcommit a little bit if he goes for that. Movement eight humans, but maybe he'll just keep keep a safety. Yeah, yeah, I quite like that. I mean, he could have base with tackle, but it would have left him open to a run away. So again, it wouldn't have been wrong to have base with a tackle. Um, I favour the this kind of sweeper thing because yeah, there's a chain out here. Does not get the knockdown. I mean, it is pretty good having the block, so you can loan, you can loan a block reliably. This is still a very scary situation. So yeah, just two Ds. Scary spot for the humans, isn't it? Managed to uh, managed to have saved it there, I think. No really obvious way for a two dice on the ball. No rolls. Oh my god, another fail! He's had three turns, and he's one in nine twice. Well, I think he's one in nine every turn, but two were double skulls. <laughs> The, the, the double score doesn't matter too much. Um, you know, because he's not blocking the block, but really, really horrible dice. So yeah, that's the thing, if he, if he brought the tackler up, he couldn't have made this block, he'd have had to dodge away. Because there would have been more stuff in the vicinity. So, but I, I like I like playing safe there with him. But who knows if he brought him around, maybe he would have got the turnover this time. Catch a free to move wherever he wants. Turn 12, so there's still enough time, but I guess he's starting to feel a little bit of pressure to get forward. Nice, nice cage though, kind of, I guess <laughs> as much of a cage as he needs. Guard being pretty good. Not a super relevant stun. There is a surf here, isn't there? But I mean, that's a ridiculous commitment. Three players to make it all two dances. And then he just loses over here, so he can't really. He can't really commit to that surf. Um, he has to get in the way. I think he could have surfed this way, though, couldn't he? He could have. Um, oh, he could have surfed that. He could have surfed that guard guy. That would have been a really good serve. Could have pushed him to there, then pushed him to there, and that. Like you really should have pushed, really should have served that guard guy. Wow, I was just looking over that side rather than over this side. Yeah, that was that. It really should have served that guard. Um, because it doesn't even cost him anything positionally. Got to, got to go for them. I mean, you, as it happened, you rolled the power anyway, but still. Should have gone for it, I think. I'm not sure I like the risk of leaving a, rolling a skull there. I mean, obviously on a push or a power, he puts him in the style of the sideline, which is good. But um, with, you know, orcs being movement five and humans being movement six, a bit dangerous to make that block. Again, doesn't mean he was wrong to do it. Just it was, there's more reward, but there's more risk, isn't there? I 
Has it happened if he had, if he hadn't made the block, he would have got an assist and he would have been two dice blocked himself. So it looks pretty good having made it now. Because yeah, this this mighty blow guy would have been there, and he would have two diced him down. So it look it looks good making the block now. That's the thing, isn't it? It's all. It's all a trade-off, really. Wow, big reroll there. Considering overtime is a possibility. Big choice. Obviously, Crystal Hunter doesn't want overtime because he's got the ball and he wants to make it 1-0. So, I can understand, you know, there's no point saving your rerolls for overtime when you could have just won in normal time. Tackle in the bunny. Well, that's the danger, isn't it? With tackle on the ball, if he if he slips away, then your movement six tackle is a long way away from his movement eight dodger. So it's, it really is hard. Though. You know, I don't want to judge people. I don't want to say, well, that was a mistake or anything like that. But, you know, that was poor because it is, everything is, it's risk versus reward and, and someone's much risk versus, somebody's risk versus reward analysis being different from mine, you know, it doesn't make, it doesn't make me wrong or them wrong, does it? We're just different. <laughs> a huge, he really needed the power there. That was a huge push because he really wanted to move forward here. That's why he rolled it. I mean, it's fair. It's fairy rolling it because he really thinks he needs it to move forward. But then he finds a way, after not re-rolling it, to get forward. Um, like, sorry, not after not re-rolling it. After the re-roll being a failure, he found a way to get forward anyway. But I do think it was the right move to re-roll it because getting through here would have been a lot better than getting through there. Makes the dodge, though. Could make a greedier move of... Uh, he could have dodged this throw, they could have got the same square. And then he could have been greedy with a catcher up there. Uh, but I, I, li I like him not being greedy. plus three plus fair enough you know some people would want to do a kind of safe move of, the, of blitzing here and then putting pressure on but at the end of the day if crystal hunter scores on turn 15 Hawks probably ain't going to score a two turn touchdown so all he needs is a push and he can go three four five six seven eight so i i, I like just going for the push and then and then the score this team. We'll catch you there. I think I would. Oh, the both down though. He can't keep the both down. So yeah, he had to. Roll. Yeah, that's that's fair. And the stun means he can stall it. So pretty good. got this guy to worry about. 4 plus 3 plus and then double GFI. Okay, that should slap down. So yeah, looking like a 1-0 win for Crystal Hunter. Just a pure desperation player available at the end. Playing the right square, but it looks like he is. Five plus dodge. And then a four plus, then a four plus, then a three plus. <laughs> then a double GFI. <laughs> and then he gets the knockdown. 
I mean, that is that is a ridiculous a ridiculous sequence of moves, isn't it? Five, four, four, three, two, two, and then he gets the thirty percent knockdown. Um, no, no, it's fifty-five percent knockdown, wasn't it? Because he hasn't got blocked, so fifty-five percent of knocking down. So not crazy odds to knock him down. But wow, that is a crazy, crazy move. And there's no catcher, so there's uh, no thrower, so it's just a straight three plus. Both teams out of re-rolls. And are going in overtime. Unbelievable. Heroic blitz there. And you know, obviously Crystal Hunt is not gonna be happy about that, but wow, I think. I think Yasmi was old some luck after all of the, the horrific blocking dice that he's had in terms of turnovers and zero zero removals. He made one KO. Um oh, well he made two KOs, one was one was Apple. Um but you know, to have only made to have only made two KOs in the entire game with all these blocks that Crystal Hunt has given him. And yeah, that's pretty it's a pretty you need, you need more than that, really, as well. And he took the troll off this this half. Um, basically, being outbashed by humans is not what you need when you're on the nine. <laughs> no, no chance of a score, so. If these blocks are obvious, this is, you know, that you could roll a skull here, but yeah, <laughs> five or six knocking over only one and a knock over yourself. I think it's worth. He's armor eight as well. I think it's definitely worth making. Making that ball. Right, time for the huge kickoff result. As always, hugely important. Whoever wins the kickoff, Crystal Hunter wins it. So. Yeah, I mean, overall, Chris Lund has definitely had the way more luck. You know, he, he he has rolled a few pushes and both downs on, like, critical blocks. But on non-critical stuff, he's had way better luck. So many double skulls and, and both downs for the Orcs. Maybe he could have managed his rerolls better. Um, but, or maybe not even better, just more stingily, you know, there's... At the end of the day, he would have gotten a worse position if he hadn't re-rolled them. So even then, even when people talk about re-roll management, it's not necessarily good to save them, is it? Um, but yeah, on, on, on overall, I think it greatly favours Chris Lund and the fact that he's had nothing happen to him in a whole half of fighting Orcs and, and being aggressively basing them as well for the whole first half. And then obviously to win the, win the coin toss as well. But I mean, both both sides have played well, you know. Just just observing the fact that Crystal Hunt has been lucky doesn't take away doesn't take away from you know how he's played. He's played high pressure, you know, which got the t stopping the turnover. I think he did exactly right going for the stall there. I mean, it was so ridiculous low, low, ridiculously low odds. I mean, he could have scored still, but you know. I'm sure the odds of Orc scoring a one a two turn touchdown were ha were lower than were higher than what other than that play there with a five four four three two two one dice uh, two dice and getting the power and a dodge play. So oh a blitz. Well not so lucky now. I quite like the deep defence like this as well, just because orcs are so slow. There's a guy in Fumble who made an all zombie team and he would always defend really, really deep um, against Wood Elves. And he actually had a, a, a winning a winning record against Wood Elves with an all zombie team, which is pretty pretty impressive, isn't it? So yeah, obviously it kinda of sucks he couldn't he couldn't have maybe react as much as he wanted because he was so deep, but it, and it's hard, you know, because he's got to cover against not only an eight-turn drive, but also a four-turn drive, so... But yeah, both players have played well anyway. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I was trying to say there before I got distracted a little bit. Both sides have played well. Um, 
and obviously the Orcs had pretty much crap luck apart from the ridiculous, ridiculous stopping the score thing. So it kind of balances out. If probably both sides had had kind of normal, if you like, luck, it would probably be 1-1. One, one. Rather than nil nil, so I, th I, I don't think anyone's anyone's made any blunders. You could certainly argue that uh, Yasmin should have made that surf from the guard, from the guard bits. I guess that's the biggest thing. And maybe that that one dice block by uh, by Crystal Hunter, not this one. <laughs> the one he did in the first half was maybe a bit of a mistake. But even then, it only get it only gets punched one in six times. So you know, he thought the risk was worth the, worth the reward. Only gets punched one in six times. Like, that's the thing. Like, you know, people love to hit on one dice blocks, but they you know they often only get punished one time in six, which isn't that many times, is it? And if you're winning the World Cup. To win the World Cup, you know, you're playing good coaches. You can't really beat good coaches without rolling any dice. You can beat bad ones, certainly, by uh, being hyper-conservative. But good coaches are basically going to make you roll some dice. Or not even make you. You're going to have to roll dice to get the advantage, kind of thing. Wow, extraordinary non-follow there. I think I would have followed and then moved the tackle of the... You know, Fair enough, he wanted this lineman to not just build three plus out, but he could have moved this guy around. That's it. Or maybe it could have been misclick. <laughs> but I think that would, I think he probably should have followed. Maybe just didn't want him punched by the ogre, but I think I would have followed there for sure. So nice chain away here, but he doesn't have any rerolls, so he doesn't get the chain him out. He's got the backup plan of the uh, catcher block. That was a nice little chain, wasn't it? Had it worked. But nowhere really for him to go. Crystal in there. Potato. Oh man, is he just going to potato it? He can't because there's two blitzes here. Retreat. Fair enough. Fair enough, so he's kind of gone. A bit elfy now, hasn't he? With that, the elf stall of a of a thrower deep in his backfield. I mean, you know, I I kind of do this sometimes with chaos as well when it when it all goes a bit wrong up front, just run back. Um, it's not exclusively an elf domain, but obviously getting back into control is going to be tricky. Surf there as well. That was. That was probably a poor move, wasn't it, by um, by Crystal Hunter? I guess you could say that's a mistake. He could have based on the other side, and it'd be very hard to surf him. Has there, where it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Standard. It's a pretty nice knockdown, to be fair. Frees up his tackler and puts down a mighty blow guy. It's got to be where this catcher looks a bit dangerous, doesn't he? He's almost got enough to stop it. Oh, huge! Really stupid. I would have been, I would have been tempted to not block there. Um, just to keep him standing and stuff, make him activate the ogre. He's got 2D here. Wow. He should, I think he should have made that before activating him to make sure he had the, the guard, I think. I think he should have hit the uh, Black Orc with uh, this guy. KO. Humans quietly out bashing Orcs still. I mean, like, this Kaz was just a surf, so it's not really bashing. Huge KO. Let's him run back into the cage. Right, we can get two dice in the ball here, can't we? And he's got guard. One, two, three, four, five. So, oh, the card couldn't get in the back there. 
So we go ahead and get here. And then Geofighter hit, or he could just play it safe, he could just blitz the catcher. Quite like just blitzing the catcher, because the catchers are like the big the big danger men, aren't they? Oh, I would have hit from here if, if I don't know if this guy's got oh, this guy's got a guard. God scatter for the orcs. So they they had the horrible scatter before, but now they have a, a godlike scatter there. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have hated just blitzing the catcher because the catcher's the the big threat, isn't he? Is uh, he's got the movement eight. The big threat is the catcher getting away. Um, and yeah, look, this is the same one dice block as he made before, but now he's got the painful threatening inside. This is really tricky for the humans to do. Really incredibly uphill block without a reroll. That's, that's fair enough. So you can clear clear the thrower, get the ball. Goes through with a, with a blitz. I guess he's going to run away. Wow, that's a. <laughs> That's a game losing scatter, isn't it? <laughs> For the Orcs. Um, wow. That's incredibly easy to get two dice on. And then run away and win with a catcher. Maybe. Maybe that was a bit of a misplay there by Yasmin. Going to pick up straight away. Maybe he's going to try to put the game down first. But wow, that was a really, really unlucky. I mean, first of all, two out of three makes the pickup anyway. And then I guess he's going to run down here or something. But um, what, what an even ridiculous, more ridiculous scatter. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Chris Lund are absolutely blessed with the scatters there. Apart from one. That is outrageous. Um, unbelievable. I mean, to be fair, I think, I think either coach would have deserved to win if they'd won. Because... Uh, Yasmir had all those block dice to endure, um, <laughs> and but but then it was a crazy it was a crazy dodges that stopped Crystal Hunter scoring. So, but then it was a one in eighty one that led to led to Yasmir not scoring. So you know at the end of the day, loads of dice happened, um, loads of decisions were made. You know it, they probably evened out more or less in the end. So you know I think if either coach had won. <laughs> I think either coach would, winning would have deserved the win. You know, could have really could have gone either way. Both sides played well. Crystal Hunter takes it. It's a really long match, isn't it? E an epic match, you might say. Over time, and uh, let's have a look at the stats. Ninety blocks <laughs> made <laughs> by the Orcs. So I mean, you know, they're, they're going to make some one in nines there, aren't they? <laughs> when they're making ninety blocks in a match. So yeah, maybe maybe the Orcs could have had, you know, better reroll management, and maybe would have had a reroll in the end for the pickup that scattered so horribly. Maybe they could have tried to get the thrower through to pick it up. But then if he wanted to make a break, that's why he did it. You know, can't criticize him. He really did do a good job, Yasmir, but um in the end, you know, Crystal Hunter won. He, he, it's I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it, but I think he definitely got the better of the dice. But you know, it's all good, isn't it? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.